fantastic cruise news coming to you today. I am screaming inside with excitement. This is wonderful. Buckle up for two different cruise lines who just made fantastic announcements. We have news from Royal Caribbean that they are returning to service in the Caribbean from the Bahamas this summer. This summer is shaping up to be fantastic. After a long awaited return to service, we can now set sail on the Adventure of the Seas, which is going to start service in June from its new home port of Nassau, Bahamas. So we'll have the chance to island hop and relish in the adventures that we have so missed. And get this, these itineraries are offering back-to-back -back days at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. So this is a beautiful, wonderful opportunity to really immerse yourself into Royal Caribbean's private island in the Bahamas. And then you also will get to explore Grand Bahama Islands, other islands in the Bahamas, and Cozumel, Mexico. So if you're looking to take a vacation this summer, this coming Wednesday, March 24th, you can start your bookings that will be available as early as June 12th. So these new itineraries are going to go until August and the entire crew will be vaccinated and guests who are wishing to sail as well are also going to need to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19. And any guests who are under 18 just have to provide a negative test result. The Royal Caribbean CEO, Michael Bailey, announced that he is so excited to get back to delivering memorable vacations in the Caribbean gradually and safely, and that the vaccines have been a game changer for all of us. People of the island nations and have been more and the opportunity to home port in the Bahamas is a testament to the tremendous partnership of the government of the people of the island nations. Wow. I am just so excited for this. So some of the itinerary highlights, again, for the Adventure of the Seas, where you can visit Perfect Day at Coco Cay, Grand Bahama Islands, and Cozumel. You'll have the opportunity to visit Perfect Day, again, where everyone will be fully vaccinated. You can enjoy Thrill Water Park at Perfect Day at Coco Cay, the Up Up and Away Helium Balloon, and of course, the brand new Coco Beach Club that so many of us haven't had the opportunity to experience since it was launched and then of course take it chill on chill beach or hang out in oasis lagoon royal caribbean said that they anticipate a promising return to a vibrant tourism industry and the news that the cruise industry is going to be home porting in the bahamas is exciting i feel like that's an understatement i'm screaming i'm so excited uh, perhaps hundreds of thousands of millions of passengers will experience NASA or Grand, ba Grand Bahamas in ways that they never had the opportunity before, said the most honorable Dr. Hubert A. Minnis, the Prime Minister of the Bahamas. The Prime Minister went on to say it's truly a new day for tourism and it should inspire many to small to medium-sized businesses, tour operators, taxi drivers, restaurants, retailers to prepare for brighter days ahead. The best we have ever had. So exciting. The demand is there. We can't wait to get back to sea and explore so much and have a wonderful time aboard the Adventure of the Seas. Now the second cruise line as well to announce that they're going to be sailing from the Caribbean is Celebrity Cruises. Now they are starting in June of 2021 and they are offering sailings from St. Martin also through August. So if you didn't know, Royal, if you didn't know, Royal Caribbean and Celebrity are sister ships. They're within the same family and overarching umbrella. So it's similar that they're both sailing in the Caribbean until August with these sailings. So the Celebrity ship that is going to be taking part in this is the Celebrity Millennium. And they as well are offering two different seven night itineraries. So they'll call on Aruba, Curacao, Barbados, and the second itinerary will call on Tortola, St. Lucia, and Barbados. Whoa, amazing itineraries. These are serious bucket list destinations in the Caribbean. I have not hit all of those checks and ticks for my passport with those destinations. So I'm so stoked to hear about these destinations. And again, with Celebrity, all crew members on the Celebrity Millennium will be fully vaccinated and have the ability 
will be fully vaccinated and then guests on board will need to be vaccinated and then again children under 18 don't have to be vaccinated but have to just prove a negative test result within 72 hours of embarkation so similarly same thing next week is when these bookings go on sale and as the minister of tourism announced that they are going to be very popular so if you're interested in these uh, specials celebrity in particular is offering some flights by celebrity and where they can book your flights through celebrity and include some discounts on the airfare and taxes so that will make it really easy for you to plan a plan your trip well friends i think you can see how excited i am for celebrity and royal caribbean with these announcements today it is fantastic now i want to know in the comments down below whether or not you are vaccinated if you're interested in celebrity cruises or royal caribbean cruises they are offering fantastic destinations with these itineraries with both cruise lines and respective ships so very exciting news. I am on cloud nine hearing this. So, so happy. I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the update. If you did, please do remember to smash the thumbs up button if you enjoy this content. And until next time, ciao for now.